I want to talk to you about Fundrise versus Realty Mogul versus CrowdStreet. Which real estate crowdfunding platform is best for you? Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of The Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous. If you are to ask me, if you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to have a compare and contrast between three players in the real estate crowdfunding space. So we have Fundrise, Realty Mogul, and CrowdStreet. Crowdfunding, what is real estate crowdfunding? A lot of people talk about this, but they really don't understand the concept. Crowdfunding is a way to fund a project or a venture by pulling small investments from a large group of investors. The idea is that when enough people make small investments, it is possible to raise substantial amount of money quickly, right? And one of the most well-known crowdfunding sites is GoFundMe, a platform used to raise money for everything from creative projects to medical bills. So real estate crowdfunding raises capital for real estate investments. So when developers or real estate professionals find investment opportunities, they may want to fund the entire investment themselves, or they may not be able to. Thus, they will turn to crowdfunding to let individual investors help finance the project. And the process enables investors to invest in real estate without having to own, finance, or manage properties. So what are the pros and cons here? The pros. Real estate exposure without having to own, finance, or manage properties. You have low minimum investments so you can access assets that would be unaffordable otherwise. You have a high profit potential through distributions and lump sum return at the end of the investment. And then you have automatic investing on most platforms. And the cons, it is illiquid, so your money may be tied up for at least three to five years. And you have higher risk than other types of uh, equity investments. You have high fees depending on the platform and investment you choose. And some opportunities only for only exist for accredited investors. And uh, how does uh, crowdfunding work in real estate? Basically, uh, they connect those platforms, connect investment opportunities with funding, right? And uh, most real estate funding most real estate crowdfunding deals have a sponsor, a crowdfunding platform, and investors. So you have a trifecta, sponsor, crowdfunding platform, and investors. So here is a quick rundown of how it works. So the sponsor is the individual or company responsible for the project. So the sponsor acquires, manages, and sells the investment. And then you have the crowdfunding platform. This is the, the, the website that connects the sponsor to interested investors. It explains deals to potential investors, handles regulatory issues, and collects money from the investors on behalf of the sponsor. And then you have the investor. The investor contributes to the project's funding in exchange for a share of the profits. Okay. And if you want to start in real estate crowdfunding, it's pretty, e it's pretty easy. You actually have to research the various crowdfunding sites to find an opportunity that interests you, whether that is uh, an, individual an individual property or a fund that owns dozens of property. You want to pay close attention to the platform's vetting process for deals, and uh, especially when it comes to the diversity of uh, deals they have in their portfolio. I'll speak later on about this. And the big question is, uh, people are kind of curious about whether or not you can crowdfund in commercial real estate. The answer is a resounding yes. Real estate crowdfunding platforms give, give individual investors access to commercial real estate projects such as hotels, apartment complexes, medical complexes, self-storage, and retail. Without crowdfunding, this large-scale investments would otherwise be unaffordable to most individuals. Think about it. And um, you can actually make money from crowdfunding. There is the potential to earn competitive double-digit returns in real estate crowdfunding. According to research, Average real estate crowdfunding returns are between 11% uh, and 15% per year. Still, one thing I want to clarify here is that real estate crowdfunding is considered a risky inve investment. 
Just like the stock market, there are no guaranteed returns and you could lose your entire investment. Besides, depending on the investment and unlike the stock market, your money may be tied up for a period of years. Okay, so, so think about that. I want, I want you to let, to let it sink in. Real estate investment platforms connect investors with investment opportunities. And uh, while it's possible to earn competitive returns, you can lose your, your, your uh, everything. Okay. Now, how do we actually uh, evaluate the three, the Crowd, Crowd Street, Fundrise, and Realty Mogul here? How do we evaluate and categorize those uh, platforms? We'll look at a few things, including investment minimums, platform fees, total number of investors, total investor dividends, historical returns annually, reinvestment opportunities, website transparency. In other words, how, how easy it is to find platform fees, minimums, and redemption options. Very important. Better Business Bureau ratings, the triple B ratings, educational offerings. This is very important. And so we also investigated each company's online reputation, including the average monthly search volume, recent news, customer reviews and complaints to ensure that the platform is well respected and legitimate. This is very important for us. So the three, the three sites we're talking about today are indeed legitimate. Okay, I want to first start with the uh, Crowd Street. Crowd Street is the, in our view, the best overall. And the fees range from 0.5% to 2.5%. And other fees vary by offering. It depends. And so the, those fees are for crowd street funds. All right. The minimum investment is $25,000. The average annual returns 11.5% to 26.4% depending on the investment. And total investor distributions $135 million. Investment options include funds, individual deals, and a professionally managed tailored portfolio. And uh, they only accept accredited investors. So more than 100,000 investors throughout the United States have invested on the Cross Street platform. And uh, when I'm talking about accredited investors, I'm actually referring to folks who have at least a quarter of a million in their bank account. That's all. All right. And uh, what are the pros here? The pros and cons. And the pros that you have a user friendly platform with a helpful chatbot. You have institutional quality offerings and it is easy to find investment details. Once you sign up for a free account, you will see everything. The cons, they only accept accredited investors and they have steep investment minimums. Again, $25,000. And how you how they, they choose, you need to choose how you want to invest, right? You can invest in funds and vehicles, in individual deals or tailored portfolios. And in terms of... Uh, the, Crowd, crowd rise, I mean, Cross Street has a, a very methodical way to review the deal. So they have a run one sponsor review. So they evaluate the firm. They look at the background check. They look at the, the track new, the, the record review. They look at the sponsor designation. This is very important. Round two, they have a deal review. So the first they look at the sponsor and then they review the deal itself. So they evaluate the assets. So uh, when reviewing the potential deals, the Crowd Street team asks a few questions is the project within a core competency of the sponsor do the materials demonstrate professionalism and conform to industry standards are the deal assumptions supported by market data and uh, does the project match crowd street investor preferences in terms of asset type projected returns and locations and the third round is they review the documents. So they really go a little in depth in terms of uh, the due diligence. And here they look at the uh, issues in terms of uh, the uh, financial statements, the deals, the data, uh, projected the uh, ROI and so on and so forth. So what they're doing here is that, as I told you earlier, Cross Street caters to in, uh, institutions, accredited investors. You can be an individuals, as long as you have a quarter of a million at least, then you're fine. Okay, so that's for uh, Crowd Street. I want to talk now about uh, Fundrise. Now, Fundrise, you have uh, the fees, one percent, minimum investment, one thousand dollars, average annual returns, eight point seven percent to twelve point four percent, depending on the investments, and total investor distributions, seventy nine million dollars. And uh, the investment options include e-REITs and e-funds. And um, 
they are open to accredited investors and non-accredited investors. And what are the pros and cons here? So no accreditation required. That's the pro. You have a they have a well-rated mobile app, and you can request share redemption at any time. Possible fees and redemption not guaranteed. And uh, the cons: limited investment choices, highly illiquid, privately traded rates, and non-qualified dividends. And in terms of uh, account types, they have actually have four types of account account types that you can choose from: the basic. You have you can uh, actually uh, minimum one thousand dollars. The core, five thousand dollars for minimum investments. The advanced, ten thousand dollars for minimum investments, and the premium, one hundred thousand, in minimum investments. One thing I want to say is that for premium accounts, you have one of account kind investments paired with unparalleled service. So premium investors through Fundrise can access private funds that periodically become available. And these offerings are usually specialized, truly illiquid private equity funds with even longer time horizons, but they do carry the potential for outsized performance. So if you're ready to have your money tied into an investment for many years, possibly a decade, then this could be cool for you. And uh, Fundrise has a, a trifecta in terms of uh, how they actually review the deals that come to uh, to their table so they look at the assets they look at the investment model and they look at the the platform so the assets they uh, everybody understands that when it comes to uh, real estate the assets drive the returns right so what they do is they pay a lot of attention to the asset that they use i would say human analysis as well as quantitative analysis and uh, they pair that with their investment models so what they do is that they actually for investors, Fundrise, is, Fundrise has uh, an investment model whereby the investors' returns are maximized through their low-fee approach. Okay, so they are reducing constantly their cost to make sure that uh, you keep you as the investor keep more of what you earn. Okay, and they actually have the software that makes do dozens of expensive but required processes much cheaper at scale. And uh, they also have a great, a great uh, platform. Within minutes, you can create an account, choose your portfolio strategy, and watch as your dollar, your dollars are actually diversified across a series of investment funds tailored to your selected strategy. So after you place your initial investment, Fundrise will keep working to find and add new assets to your portfolio over time, with no additional investment required. On your end this means what it means that your are your already diversified portfolio can become stronger year after year now let's talk about realty mogul in our view this is the best property research platform all right the fees range from one percent to 1.5 percent minimum investment five thousand dollars the average annual returns 4.5 percent to eight percent and the total investor distributions, $160 million. And the investment options, ran the, they run the full gamut. So you have REITs, individual properties. So we're talking here multifamily, office, industrial, self-storage, retail, and medical office. And they also have 1031 exchanges. And uh, in terms of uh, investors, they accept accredited and non-accredited. And what are the pros and cons here? For pros, you have a good investment selection, thorough due, dil due diligence. They have a monthly auto investment in REITs starting at two fifty per month. And the cons, you have different fees associated with each investment. Investments not easily sold or traded, so you have some some issue with liquidity here, and some long hold periods. All right. Now, the investment types are diverse. As I said, you have REITs, so you can invest in a growing portfolio of diverse commercial real estate properties through uh, the platforms, um, through the platform offerings. And uh, their REITs are designed for income and growth and offer retirement investing choices. You can invest in individual properties. So qualified investors may invest in single properties or what they call private placements, which are structured as an LLC and designed to meet specific objectives. So a single uh, investment into a specific property or a small group of properties is uh, sometimes referred to as a private placement. And these investments are, all, are only open to investors who qualify as accredited 
as defined by the SEC. And the platform also offers uh, equity investments in commercial real estate across the United States into different property types, such as office, multifamily, mixed use, industrial, and flex space. And typical investment horizons range from uh, three to five, uh, three to seven years, with minimum investments between fifteen thousand and fifty thousand, one five and five zero. And uh, they also have uh, the 1031, as I was telling you about. So for investors seeking capital gains, deferment from the sale of an existing property, the platform offers 1031 eligible private placement investments. All right. So you have um, the, the benefits of a 1031 exchange. Exchanges include the fact that you can defer capital gains taxes on the sale of your property. You can invest in cash flow in properties. You can ensure a certainty of closing and avoid property management headaches. And uh, you can diversify your portfolio with a broad range of geography and property types. I'll be right back. Right after this, don't go anywhere. All right, folks, I was actually giving you an overview of the three platforms. Now, let's com let's compare. We're going to do some co comparison here. Uh, which one is better? How are they the same in terms of liquidity? So all three brokerages offer many features. First, let's take a look at how they are familiar. So you, you have limited liquidity. So real estate crowdfunding investments are long term in nature and typically cannot be liquidated until the deal pays out. The potential to lose money this is true with all three platforms the IRA accounts offered by all three accounts customer service all three platforms are available only during regular business hours how are they different let's look at the areas where fundrise realty mogul and cross street defer the platform purpose so fundrise and realty mogul invest in both commercial and residential properties cross streets invest only in commercial Accredited investor requirements. You must be an accredited investor to use Cross Streets. Realty Mogul offers some investments that are only for accredited investors and others that are open to all. The investment offered. So Fundrise offers REITs and E-funds. Realty Mogul offers REITs and private placements. Cross Streets offer, offers investments in individual properties only. The fees. Fundrise charges 1% on all on its REITs and funds. Realty Mogul charges 1% to 1.5% on REITs and Cross Street has no fee. And in terms of availability, Fundrise and Cross Streets are available in all 50 states. Realty Mogul does not indicate availability at all. What about income distributions? Now, Fundrise income distributions are monthly. Realty Mogul are monthly or quarterly. Cross Street distributions are monthly or less frequently depending on the type of investments. What about the unique features that each platform has? What are the features unique to Fundrise? Now, Fundrise is available, as I said before, in all 50 states. Not all real estate crowdfunding platforms are. So that's a great edge here. The E-REITs and E-Funds also let you invest in a mix of commercial real estate and small residential properties. You can choose one fund for steady income and another for capital appreciation. And in the case of the latter, your investment will not pay out until the underlying property is sold. Just need, you need to know that. What are the features unique to Realty Mogul? Now, Realty Mogul offers REITs, as I said before, just like Fundrise does, right? But it also offers private placements in individual properties. With Realty Mogul, you can invest in commercial properties, especially apart, special apartment buildings, office buildings, and retail price. Retail space, rather. Or you can invest in uh, individual residential real estate. But to invest in its private placement deals, you must be an accredited investor. What about the features unique to Cross Street? Now, for Cross Street, you must be an accredited investor. Point, point blank. This platform offers the option of investing in REITs and individual properties. However, what makes the platform unique is the wider variety of properties you can invest in. So besides retail and office buildings and large apartment complexes, you can invest in senior housing, hotels, storage facilities, and mixed use properties. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the minimum initial investment. Folks, we're just comparing those three here, all right? Minimum in initial investment. So Fundrise requires 
a minimum initial investment of $1,000 for a single note or investment in a REIT, in an E-REIT or E-Fund, right? Realty mogul minimum investment vary depending on the type of investments you're making. For example, the minimum on REITs is $1,000, but the minimum for an IRA account is five grand. Private placements are specific to each individual investment. They can range from a low of 15 grand all the way up to $50,000. This will depend on the type of uh, investment, the number of investors, and the size of the position you want to take in the deal. Since Cross Streets offers such a wide variety of investments, investment minimums are in a wide range. They can be anywhere from 10 grand to 50 grand. So the winner here in terms of minimum initial investments is Fundrise because it has a minimum initial investment of just $1,000. Realty Mogul also has a minimum initial investment of $1,000 on its REITs, but the minimum is much bigger on private placement investments. Annual fees. Fundrise charges an annual fee of 1% of your investment on its E-REITs and E-Funds. Realty Mogul fees once again depend on the type of investment you're making with the platform. The fee for REITs ranges from 1% to 1.5% and is really based on the amount of your investment. For private placements, the fees will depend on the terms of the individual deal. Cross Street charges no fee for its investments. So when it comes to uh, annual fees, Cross Street is the winner. You can't beat no fee investing. What about standout features? So uh, with Fundrise, you will be investing in either REITs or funds instead of participating directly in uh, individual investments. With a Realty Mogul, you, they have a private placement investments, which means you can invest in individual properties. You can also decide how much you want to invest in each property. That's fantastic, right? For Cross Street, they offer private placement investments, but they also, op they also offer a wider variety of investment than uh, Realty Mogul, extending to many different property types. So the winner here, this is this one is a close one between Realty Mogul and Cross Street. But we're giving the edge to Realty Mogul because it offers REITs and investment in single family residential properties in addition to commercial projects. What about customer service? Customer service, um, the, the Fundrise customer service is somewhat limited. It's available by email, but phone access may be available if you join the service. Realty Mogul can be contacted by phone or email during regular business hours. And uh, customer service with CrowdStreet is available by phone and email Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time. So in terms of um, the, the winner here, we have a tie. So CrowdStreet and Realty Mogul, both are available Monday through Friday during regular business hours by both phone and email. So that's fantastic. What about security? Now, Fundrise offers two-factor authentication as an optional security features. Realty Mogul platform security is quite extensive and Cross Street limits access to personal information to employees who have a legitimate business need for it. So the winner here is uh, Realty Mogul in our view because all three platforms offer solid security suites, but Realty Mogul security looks to be a bit better than that of the other two. So. Let's talk about who are they best for. When we talk about uh, Fundrise versus Realty Mogul versus Cross Street, who is this suitable for? Fundrise is best suited to the investor looking to achieve a balanced mix of both income and growth through uh, their real estate investing activities. So the income option, if you really think about it, is well suited for anyone looking for immediate cash flow. However, if you add growth to your investment portfolio mix, you'll need to wait until the underlying investments are sold, right? Going back to the liquidity issue I was talking about earlier. So this holds risks in both tying up your money for a very long period of time and the possibility that some investments may not rise in value over time. So you will need the risk tolerance to accept that. Realty Mogul will work best for investors who have a strong appetite for high risk, high reward opp opportunities or investments. You'll also need to be prepared to invest your money for several years before you'll see a return of both your initial investments and any profits on that activity. And of course, you'll need to qualify as an accredited investor for some of its investments. What about Cross Streets? Now, Cross Streets works much like Realty Mogul in offering an opportunity to invest in individual real estate investments. It's also the best choice if you're looking to invest in less conventional properties such as storage facilities, hotels, and senior citizens' complexes. 
it's best for the real estate investor who is looking to, for investment in a specific real estate sector. And to use CrowdStreet, you must be an accredited investor. So which is really best? And uh, it really depends. It really depends in, in terms of uh, your investment tolerance, your financial situation, your uh, horizon, because there is something of a progression among these three real estate investment platforms. Because Fundrise, if you are interested uh, in um, in uh, funds and rates, go with Fundrise because they offer funds and rates that can provide income, growth, or a combo of both. So it's great for it. An investor who is looking for either income or a combination of growth and income if that's you go with fundrise what about realty mogul they also offer rates but they also um, dabble a little bit into private placement so the platform gives you a choice of investing in multiple properties through a REIT or taking positions in uh, individual properties and its most unique feature when compared with, to the other two platforms it's the ability to invest in single family residential properties that's really cool and finally cross streets also offers uh, investment in individual properties but it does not offer investment in single family residential properties but provides a wider variety of investments in specific commercial real estate sectors and again it's for accredited investors so you got to be a, a sophisticated investor but for the person who's looking for a true high reward, high risk investments in the widest variety of property types, Cross Street stands above the other two. And even better, there are no investor fees. Think about that. So, folks, our pick today, our pick is Fundrise. We feel like Fundrise will work best for the largest number of investors due to its combination of low minimum initial investment requirements and the availability of both funds and REITs. So we have given uh, Fundrise uh, a score of 9.5 over 10, Realty Mogul's score of uh, 9 over 10, and Crown Street a score of 9 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I will speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.